just want to thank the Lord Jesus for allowing me to be here this evening in the name of Jesus. I give God the glory and the honor and the praise. I just thank the Lord Jesus for him being who he is on this evening in Jesus' name. Um, my topic is raised from the dead, and I'm coming from John, um, the 12th chapter, first verse through the 11th, NLT version. Verse 1, six days before the Passover celebration began, Jesus arrived in Bethany, the home of Lazarus, the man he had called it from the dead. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The second verse, a dinner was prepared in Jesus' honor. Martha served and Lazarus was among those who ate with him. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 3, then Mary took a 12-ounce jar of expensive perfume made from essence nard, and she anointed Jesus' feet with it, wiping his feet with her hair. The house was filled with fragrance. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Verse 4. Hallelujah. But Judah is carried, the disciple who would soon betray him said, Hallelujah. Verse 5. That, perf that perfume was worth a year wages. Hallelujah. It sold, have been sold, and the money given to the poor. Verse 3. Six, I'm sorry. Not that he cared for the poor, he was a thief. And since he was in charge of the disciples' money, he often stole some for himself. My God. Verse 7 Jesus replied, Leave her alone. She did this in preparation for my burial. Verse 8 You will always have the poor among you but you will not always have me. Verse 9, when all the people heard of Jesus' arrival, they flocked to see him and also to see Lazarus, the man Jesus had raised from the dead. Hallelujah. Verse 10, then the leading priests decided to kill Lazarus too. Verse 11, for it was because of him that many of the people had deserted them and believed in Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to expound on verse 4 and 6. Judah often dipped it into the disciple money bag for his own use. Quite likely, Jesus knew what Judah was doing but never did or said anything about it. Similarly, ah, when we choose the way of sin, God may not immediately do anything to stop us. My God. But this does not mean he approaches us our, of our effect, action. What we deserve will come. Hallelujah fifth verse in the sixth verse. Judah used the phrase to hide true motive. My God. But Jesus knew what was in his heart. Judah's life had became a lie. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And the devil was gaining more and more control over him. Satan is the father of lies and a Lion character opened the door to his influence. Jesus' knowledge of us should make us want to keep our action consistent with our words because we have nothing to fear. Hallelujah. Second Timothy, the first chapter and the seventh verse. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power. Hallelujah. Love and a sound mind. You see, saints of God, of the Most High, we have nothing to fear. Satan is subtle. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What's going on today is Satan is trying, my God, to deceive us. 
Hallelujah. The real deal is our enemies is trying to blindfold us. Satan is trying to silence the church. Let us not be ignorant of Satan's devices. He is trying to separate us from the love of God and each other. What he is doing more so is trying to do all he can to cause the saints of God to fear. This is the time, hallelujah, for the saints of God to arise, shine, for the light is come and the glory of the Lord has risen from thee. Isaiah, the 60th chapter in the first verse, in the name of Jesus, I just want to encourage the people of God, those that have been out of church since the COVID and have not returned. I pray that whatever the situation is, that God will bring you back to the church. We need each other. In the name of Jesus, when we come together, it is unity. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We strengthen each other when we come together. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you, Lord, for those that do come in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we give you the glory and the honor and the praise, for this is the day which the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. In Jesus' name, thank God.